Eddie, would you like to order something now? Oh, oh, no, thanks, Eddie. I'll wait for Donald. Well, I brought you some unfinished wine while you're waiting. Oh, thank you. 11.30. I got so involved in this, I lost all track of time. You also lost your sense of direction. Oh, no. You see, there's this girl, and on the last page, the man that she's in love with asked her to leave her husband. And she says, don't you remember what I told you the first time you asked me that? And he says, yes. And she says, well, it still stands. And he says, I understand. But I didn't. I didn't remember what she said the first time she said it. So I've been trying to check back. <laughs> Oh, is that good? What is that? Donald's gonna love it. At thirty dollars a bottle? Thirty dollars a bottle? I just swallowed about ninety-five cents in that one sip. Who paid thirty dollars a bottle for a bottle of wine and left it half undrunk? Undrunken. And he didn't even finish it. Oh, that's all right. It's his second bottle. Who? Who? Who did it? That's Arnold Lindsay. He's a multimillionaire. Not for long, unless he gives up wine. Oh, huh, he could float a battleship with this stuff and take it out of petty cash. You're kidding. What does he do? Place the market. Oh, yeah? And wins? All the time. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll get that, Mr. Lindsay. It's all right, Eddie. I enjoy popping these myself. You see that bottle of champagne? Yeah. You know what that costs? No, and I don't want to. Because if there's any left over and you bring it over to me, I'd be afraid to drink it. Give me some more of the cheap stuff. How much? How much did it cost? I'm so sorry. The cork got away. Is everyone all right? Good. Everyone survived. Everyone but that girl. Thank you, I'm fine. Just a little surprise. But I saw it coming. Yeah. Why didn't you get out of the way? I didn't think it'd come this far. <laughs> Eddie, I'm gonna go home and change. When Donald gets here, tell him to come over and I'll fix him something to eat at my place. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Oh, I'm sure. You never could have planned it. Hardly. But I can make up for it. In the first place, I spilled your wine. Well, to be perfectly honest, you spilled your wine. <laughs> but it was delicious. <laughs> Good. It's better in you than on you. Oh, it's just my blouse. Anyway, it's kind of old. Well, I ruined it. I'll buy you a new one. Well, to be fair, you should really buy me an old one. Look, it wasn't your fault. You just forget about no, it. No, no, no. I insist. Now, here's my card. You buy yourself a new blouse, send me the bill. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Lindsay. You win. Actually, you lose. My pleasure, Miss... Marie. Anne Marie. Nice name. And easy to remember. That's why I don't need a card. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Didn't Eddie give you my message? Yeah, he said there was a terrible accident and you had to go home. Oh, there was a silly accident. I got some wine spilled on me, but I'm fine. Well, your lips still work. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Eddie. Well, I guess when you do add up all the damages, it was a pretty bad accident. What happened? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, uh, then forget. 
You don't want to hear about it? Honey, I have seen you describe things that you think are easy to explain, and I don't understand them. If you're going to try something that you think is hard, I don't stand a chance. Oh. Honey, I'm sorry I'm so late, but I just couldn't lick that article. Well, that's all right. I uh, did have a pretty exciting evening, and I met a very exciting man. Oh? Who? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, and you know me when it comes to explaining. I'll uh, get you something to eat. Okay, okay, honey. Who's the man? Oh, the man who popped the cork, that hit the busboy, that dropped the dishes on the waiter, who stabbed the captain and pushed the pastry cart into Eddie, who dropped the wine on me. Oh, that man. His name is Arnold Lindsay, and he's a multimillionaire. The Arnold Lindsay? Is there a the Arnold Lindsay? There sure is. He's known as the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, no, Donald. This man was very polite. <laughs> no, not a wolf with women, with money. He's a killer. Oh, that's right. And he told me he does play the stock market. Oh, he gave me his card. Oh? So that I can send him the bill when I buy my new blouse. Here it is, see? Arnold Lindsay, Lindsay Carney Bailey and Company. That's him, all right. What was he doing in Nino's? He likes a ravioli. Then we should buy some. It'll probably go up. Is that smart? Honey, when Arnold Lindsay invests money in the stock market, it's like betting on Willie Shoemaker in a one-horse race. Here. Oh, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy a new blouse. Why not? He can afford it. Oh, Donald, that's not the point. It was an accident. Oh. Huh. You need this list of notes in the back? I didn't make any notes. What kind of eggs do you want? Fried or scrambled? Donald? Oh, say something. Buy. What? Buy. That's what it says on the back of his card. Buy what? Buy. ESX oil, CBO fruit, PCE lumber. Honey, if these things are what I think they are. I think what are? Oh, no, no, no. no. Forget it. I don't know what to forget. Honey, this is a list of abbreviated symbols used in the stock market to signify large companies. So? So. So if this is a list of things for Mr. Lindsay to buy tomorrow, this card could be worth a fortune to us. Sell it. Sell it. No, 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 honey. honey. Don't sell it. Honey, if the Wolf of Wall Street is going to buy these stocks, they must be as good as gold. We can make a fortune. You mean if we buy the same one? Yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll do it. We'll do it. No, 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 calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. The first thing is, you might have bought these today. And tomorrow, they could go up as far as they're going to go. Yeah, right. And in the second place, to make a lot of money, you have to have a lot of money to buy with. Oh, money. I know. I'll sell my clothes. I'll sell all my clothes, except one dress to pick up the winnings. Now, honey, look, you're getting much too excited. Uh, that scares me. Why, Donald? Money is not evil if you use it for good things, like charities and presents and rolling in. What really frightens me is that you're usually excited and I'm usually calm, but this time we're both excited and I don't know how to handle it. Oh, no, Donald. I think you're handling it beautifully. You're very calm. But what about this strange compulsion to sell my clothes? You too. <laughs> Donald! D Donald! Donald! Don't I'm Donald. here. I saw you running down the hall and I called to you, but you didn't hear me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so nervous. I'm just... What is it? Coffee. No, no. I mean, what is it you were calling me about? I was calling to tell you I wasn't here. Well, I could see that, Donald. Oh, I'm so weak. Just that I am so jumpy about this thing. I didn't sleep all night last night. I kept dreaming about what I was going to say to Mr. Lindsay. How could you dream if you didn't sleep? I must have slept. Donald, what am I going to say? Now, what am I going to say? Honey, now look, you're just going to call him and tell him you found the list. Good. That's a good idea. That's right. Just, just nice like that, like a nice thing to do with absolutely no idea of any personal gain. And he may think it's so nice that we may make a huge personal gain. Yeah, now, now wait a minute. Do you think he's going to want to talk to you? Oh, sure he will. If he wants this list, he's going to want to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, he may talk to you, but he may not tell you anything. Well, there's no harm in asking. And suppose he says no. Well, I'll... Oh. I'll cry a little. Honey, that works on me, but on Wall Street, they're used to people crying. Hello. Hello, Mr. Arnold Lindsay, please. Oh, Donald, I can hear so much money being made. Arnold Lindsay, please. I'm sorry Mr. Lindsay isn't available. May I be of any assistance? This is his personal secretary. Oh. Well, that depends on how personal you are. Uh, well, uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, Mr. Lindsay gave me his business card last night, and uh, I was looking at it, and there were some things written on the back, and I just uh, wondered whether or not, you know, he needed them. So that's where it is. He's been hunting for that list all morning. How nice of you to call, Mr. M Marie. Anne Marie. Uh, that uh, list is really important, huh? I wonder if you would mind reading it to me over the phone. He, uh, really needs that list, huh? Definitely, and before the market closes today. 
before the market closes today. Today. Today's a day, Donald. Oh, oh, the phone. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, uh, it's uh, ESX Oil, uh, CBO Fruit, PCE Lumber, and uh, Hedity Aluminum. H-D-T-Y. That's, that's Hedity Aluminum. Yes, th that's the last one. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Donald, Donald, we're rich, we're now, rich. Now, wait a minute, not yet, not yet. Not yet, but soon. Listen, I better call Ben White. Right, right, good. Who, who's he, why? Uh, honey, he's the financial editor of Newsview magazine. We better check on this stuff. Right, right, we should. And we'll have to move fast. The market closes at 3 o'clock. Right, right. Money? Where am I going to get money? Daddy? Where am I going to get daddy? Daddy? Hey, Donald, all the trouble I've caused daddy since I've come to New York, the one time I finally strike gold, I can't leave him out. Uh, here, honey, how do I do it? D dial daddy. All right, but talk to him quick. 5, 5, 39, 3, 8, that's off 2-8 from yesterday, and 16 and 8 is up one. Well, combine the three of them, get 20,000 shares, and I think 4 or 5. Oh, Mr. Lindsay. Yes? I have your list. Well, good girl, where was it? It was on the back of the card you gave Miss Marie. Of course. She just called it in. Well, thank goodness. And Miss Anne Marie, solid oil, solid fruit, have you do Why don't I take it, Mr. Lindsay, and I'll stop by the supermarket during lunch. Fine. I don't know how to thank Miss Marie. If I don't bring these things up to the cabin for the weekend, my wife will never forgive me. <laughs> Come on, Ben, come on, we don't have all day. Don't be in such a big hurry to go bankrupt. Bankrupt? Bite your tongue. Oh, Daddy, we're so glad you're coming in on this with us. What you're really saying is that you're both scared to death. Misery loves company and I'm the company. <laughs> this six oil must be on the American Stock Exchange. Lettuce? I didn't know lettuce was a stock. In a way, honey, it's listed on the commodities. They're called futures, like wheat, flour, and soybeans. Oh, I don't get it. Honey, what your father means is a person might buy lettuce this year and hold it as an investment for next year. Who'd want to buy lettuce and hold it for a year? Here it is, Mr. Marie, Essex Oil. No wonder I couldn't find it in the paper. It's an unlisted stock. Maybe it's in show business. <laughs> uh, come on, Ben, what about it? A subsidiary of Northern Food Produce. Hmm. Not bad earnings per share this past year. But nothing I can see for anybody to get excited about. You know, it's just possible that Mr. Lindsay has some information about Essex Oil that we know nothing about. You mean a merger? Maybe a merger. No reason to think there's a merger. Let's not get excited for nothing. A merger. Maybe a merger. Why not a merger? Definitely a merger. Wow, a merger! Exactly. And if that's the truth, the stock could go sky high. Well, what about the others, Ben? CPO Oil and PCE Lumber. And don't forget about Hedity Aluminum. PCE, that's price timber, not price lumber. A good over-the-counter stock. There is no price lumber. Lumber, timber, what's the difference? Mr. Lindsay must have meant timber and he wrote down lumber. That's an understandable mistake. I don't know the millions of times I've said lumber when I meant timber. Maybe once. Oh, let's buy it. Let's buy it. Now, wait a minute, honey. Wait a minute. I say we go with price timber. Agreed? Just a minute. As the senior member of this amalgamation, I will make all the determinations, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Go right ahead. We'll go with price timber. <laughs> what about CBO fruit? That's combo fruit. That's a new issue. <gasps> Great! We'll get it on the ground floor and go all the way with it. Wow, a merger! <laughs> well, partners, I think I've heard enough. Me too. Let's plunge. If you'll excuse me, I'm starved. I'm going to the bank. Merger! <laughs> wait, wait. Quiet. Merger. <laughs> What do we do next? Well, this involves several hundred dollars. From each of us? You have to put in to take out. Donald, I don't need a philosopher. I need a counterfeiter. Where am I going to get a couple hundred dollars? I'll call my broker and get on this right away. Wait a minute. Waiting is costing us money. Okay, you've got ten seconds. All I want to say is I think we're being very unfair to Mr. Lindsay. I mean, the least we can do to show our appreciation is to give him our business. Honey, we don't have time for thinking like that. Don's right. Besides, I don't have an account at Lindsay's. I do at Cooper and Company. One phone call and it's done. Well, I don't think we're being very grateful. Don't think grateful. Think money. I'll call Dave Cooper. Besides, honey, Lindsay doesn't need our business. Which has nothing whatever to do with the principle of giving it to him. Okay, you win. Why are you giving in so fast? Because every minute is costing us money. 
She gets more like a mother every day. Thank you. Okay, Daddy, I'm gonna run over and see Mr. Lindsay. You scoot over to my bank and just transfer some money into my checking account. All right, how much? How much can you spare? How much can I spare? Just temporarily. I have enough in my savings account, but I don't want to touch it. I'm afraid to ask why. Permit me. Why? Well, because I've already touched it twice this month. One more time and they'll charge me a quarter. <laughs> shares of Carbon Co-op at 32 and 3 eighths. Right. Thank you, Mr. Rockefeller. Rockefeller? No relation. May I help you? Oh, uh, yes. I have a list of stocks here that I'd like to invest in immediately before the market closes today. The name, please? Uh, Marie. Anne. Miss. Uh, Miss Marie, may I ask if you have an account with us? Well, no, I don't, but I have excellent references. You can call Macy's, Gimbel's, they'll tell you. Well, Miss Marie, I'm afraid we're not talking about the same types of accounts. Now, if you're interested in opening an account... Uh, look, Mr. Uh, uh, Jonas, I'm kind of in a hurry. I I'd like to get those before the market closes today. Couldn't I just buy the stocks now, and then later, when we're more relaxed and easy, we can talk about my opening an account, okay? <laughs> Combo fruit, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, that's a, uh, a division of Northern Food Produce, as you most likely know, with not a bad earnings per share this year, right? You seem to know the market quite well. Thank you. I've, you know, dabbled a bit. Now, about my stocks. Uh, well, Miss Marie, I'm sorry, but without a credit account, I'm, I'm afraid we can't help you. It, it's a company policy. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I guess I'll just have to speak to Mr. Lindsay. Maybe he can help me. Oh, uh, do you know Mr. Lindsay? Yes, I know him. <laughs> but not your way of thinking kind of knowing. My way of thinking kind of knowing. Uh, Mr. Lindsay, Joan is here. Sorry to disturb you. I have a Miss Anne Marie here with me. Uh, yes, sir. I'll extend her every courtesy. Yes, sir. Well, Miss Marie, it seems I can help you after all. Uh, just how many shares of stock were you interested in purchasing? Five. Five? You have to put in to take out. Uh, yes, of course. I'll set this up right away. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was wondering, while I'm waiting, could I see how one of those things works? Things? What things? You know, the machines that, that make the stuff that you throw at parades. Oh, you must mean the ticker tape machine. I'm afraid they've been obsolete for several years now. So what do you throw at parades? Well, on a bad day, we shred the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Miss Marie, if you'd like to live to see what happens to your investments, I suggest you take a seat. <laughs> I just come here for the exercise. <laughs> oh, hi. Miss Marie, how nice. Hi, Mr. Lindsay. My gosh, there's some place you have here. Is it always this busy? Almost always. You see, the important thing is trying to keep up with the board. I don't know. I can keep up with it. I just can't read it. You now, if you look at it this way, it could pass for Japanese. <laughs> yes. I suppose to the uninitiated, the symbols are a little hard to understand, but in time, one gets to know what they mean. Mm. How about your investments? Perhaps I can advise you. <laughs> you already have. I have? Miss <laughs> Wee, I'm afraid I don't understand you. Is there something in your eye? Oh, don't worry, Mr. Lindsay. Mum's the word. That goes again. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm so excited. I've never made a killing in the market before. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Lindsay, could I see you for a minute? Oh, uh, certainly. Excuse me. Uh, 
A killing? It'd be all right if I sat here, you know, out of the way. Well, that's fine. Miss Marie, you said you were making a killing? Well, not as big a killing as you're gonna make. On you know what. My dear, I'm afraid I lost you at you know what. What exactly is you know what? See, if you want to play it cagey, Mr. Lindsay, it's okay with me. Oigo fruit and lumber. Oh, of course, and I meant to thank you very much for your thoughtfulness in that matter. That was a very important list. Well, it was important to us, too. Us? Me, my father, my boyfriend, his friend. When we read the back of your card and saw what you were buying on the market. Not on the market, Miss Marie. You mean in the market. Oh, man, that's the difference. I mean, Miss we... Marie, do you mean that because of what was written on the back of my business, card you invested sure we checked into everything essex oil or esx as you put it combo fruit cbo price timber oh by the way you had lumber and it's timber you better change it how much did you i mean all of you invest we're in up to our necks five shares each <laughs> Is something funny my dear girl i don't know how to tell you this Assorted fruit. Well, that's true. But uh, well, what about heavy duty aluminum? H D T Y. Heavy duty aluminum foil. My wife and I are barbecuing tonight. Well, what about price timber? You can't get that in a supermarket. Price lumber. That was a memo for me to stop by the lumber yard and get an estimate. I'm repaneling my den. How oh, nice. Well, there's no reason for tears, Miss Marie. Oh no. The crash of 29 was nothing compared to the noise you're going to hear when my father and boyfriend get through with me. Well, why tell them? If the stocks decline, you can blame me. Oh, they'll blame you, but they'll blame me first. Maybe they won't. Miss Marie, I know you don't understand this, but look anyway. I'm looking, and you're right. I, I, I don't understand it. But it looks like you've made a fairly good investment after all. I have? Where? Where? where, where? How, how much? How much? Well, I'd say that you've made an average of one point on every share you bought. Oh, my gosh. That means we've all made $5 since I've been here. You want to sell? No, no chance. What, what do you think? It's up to you. We'll stick with them. Well, I was never one for playing hunches on the market, but I think I'll join you. What else were you thinking of buying? Well, lettuce, but I found out you have to hold it for a year. If I were you, I'd buy some strawberries. They're in season. You can put them in the freezer and forget about them. <laughs> Yes, sir, we really did it, my boy. Yes, sir, we really did. Perfect timing. Every one of our stocks is on the upswing. We should be able to pull out by the end of next week with a very tidy profit. You mean sell? Sell? Sell what? Our stocks by the end of next week. Why, Daddy? Because the secret of investing in the stock market is not just investing. It's knowing when to get out before it's too late. Well, I don't think it's ever too late to protect your investments. Honey, how? By investing in your investments. Dinner is served. This is dinner? The salad will be dressed with Essex oil and vinegar. And of course, you all recognize combo fruit. Dig in. Where are you going? To buy stock and roast beef. Oh. <laughs> 